So today we want to work with reference angles to show that your calculator is not always right. Uh, question A, sine of theta equals 0.5. Cosine of theta is less than zero. Find theta. Well, the obvious answer here and the easiest way to do this is to say, okay, I've, I've been given an equation where I have one unknown, theta. So I take the inverse sine or the arc sine, what I get, inverse sine of 0 0.500, I get 30. So using this information, I get an answer that's 30 degrees. Here's the problem. I was told sine had to be positive and cosine had to be negative. What quadrant is sine positive and cosine negative. Sine is positive in 1 and 2. Cosine is negative in 2 and 3. Where's the overlap? Quadrant 2. So the answer must be in quadrant 2. 30 degrees is not in quadrant 2. What that means is we have a 30 degree reference angle in quadrant 2. Okay? Reference angles are always measured from the x-axis. What is the degree measure of the x-axis in quadrant 2? It's 180 degrees. So our answer will actually be 180 minus 30, which is 150 degrees. Now, how do I know it's minus and not plus? Well, 180 and subtracting a number takes me up into quadrant 2. If I add to 180, that takes me down into quadrant 3. So that's how you'd find that answer. Can you check that answer? Well, sure. Let's take the sine of 150 degrees. What do we get? 0.5. So if theta equals 150, sine of theta equals 0.5. And that kind of proves that our answer is correct. Second one, tangent of theta equals 0.25, negative 0.250. So the first thing I do is take the arc tangent of negative 0 0.250 and I get negative 14.04 degrees. Now, obviously that would be easy to just write that down. However, it says tangent of theta equals negative 0 0.250 and cosine of theta is, oops, I left out my theta. Cosine of theta is negative. This is in quadrant 4. Cosine is positive in quadrant 4. So it cannot be a quadrant 4 angle. So what we are looking for is where is tangent negative and cosine negative. This occurs in quadrant 2. Okay? So this is a 14 degree reference angle. This is our reference angle. Our actual angle must be in quadrant 2. Okay, must be in quadrant 2. So again, we're going to say 180 minus 14.04 degrees. And we say 180 minus 14.04. We get 165.96. Now, let's check our answer. What is the tangent of 165.96? And we get negative 0 0.250. So again, you can plug in your answers and check them. Last one, cosine is positive, tangent is negative. Where is cosine positive and tangent negative? Cosine is positive in quadrants 1 and 4. Tangent is negative in 2 and 4. So must be in quadrant 4. Take the inverse cosine of 0.75 and we get 41.41 degrees. But it must be in quadrant 4. So how do we find a quadrant 4 angle? Well, that's pretty easy. We're going to say 360 
right? Because our x-axis on quadrant 4 is 360 degrees minus 41.41. So 360 minus our previous answer. And we get 318.59 degrees. And that is our answer. Let's check our answer. How do we check it? We take the cosine of that angle and we should get 0.75. So cosine of 318.59 and we get 0.75. So all of these answers can be checked. If you have any questions, please come see me.